everyone. I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is Bruce Lee. So the question that was sent to me is, hi, I have another idea for the blog. I've always liked Bruce Lee. He was famous for his amazing martial arts skills. When I saw him hit the ping pong balls back across the table with his nunchucks, I was beyond impressed. And here's the video. So on the blog itself, I have the video and I also embedded it on my YouTube video. If you wanted to get a, a quick view of him actually playing ping pong, ping pong with his nunchucks. It was quite impressive to say the least. So um, they go on to say his death was a bit of a mystery. He died young and there's some rumors about how it happened. Some people think he was taken out because he didn't want to turn to the dark side or they had an accident with his muscle training device that may have caused heart problems, which makes the situation even more strange as the fact that his son died as a young adult too. He was killed during the filming of The Crow. Turns out and this is regarding his son, that the stunt gun wasn't supposed to be loaded with real bullets, and it was. Her friend had commented that maybe the family was cursed. I know it's quite possible that he died from natural causes, but I thought it would be interesting for you to look into it. Maybe you could see what made him unique. Was he able to tap into something like enlightenment that made him really good at martial arts? And maybe you could see what happened to him and his son at the end. So... I definitely wanted to look at least at Bruce to see what I could get to come through and what I saw in regards to him passing. And when I first tuned into him, it was as if I didn't just see the health issues. I didn't immediately hone in on that. It was like I saw him as this whole spiritual being. And I get that he had just this amazing drive and ambition that exceeded most people. I mean, even people that are very driven, I mean, he even far exceeded that. And he was also really hard on himself and his perfectionist part about him, even though sometimes that can be a detriment, that really helped him to propel and be and become something great, especially in such a short amount of time. His perseverance did create situations where he pushed his body like he was always working at 110%. It, it was like 100% wasn't even good enough. You had to constantly be working and excelling and exceeding. And I see that with regard to diet and training, he took really impeccable care of himself. But the thing where he maybe lacked was where he did not give himself proper time to heal and recover. Like say you went through this really rigorous workout or you went through some training thing, maybe you got injured as a result. He was not good about allowing that injury to heal because he was constantly pushing himself for the next thing and um, felt like he just couldn't take a break. And I heard the phrase that rest wasn't in his vocabulary. He often found himself either taping, bandaging, bracing, or drugging himself, like taking pain pills or some kind of an anti-inflammatory to help mitigate you know, injuries, small injuries, sometimes bigger injuries that he had, so he could just keep going and going. And I, I got that he wasn't really a big fan of doing that. He liked to stay healthy. He liked to stay natural, but nonetheless, you had to do what you had to do to keep on going. And that was just the mindset that he had. And I see him as someone that always had a goal or a project. So to him, he justified it and he felt he was doing what he needed to do. It looks like when he was barely 30, he started to deal with a neurological issue that was a result of an injury that he had. And he tried to count, counteract the injury and the pain tied to it with anti-inflammatory medications. But not only did he become numb or desensitized to them, it started to affect his liver as well. So I got that there were some internal things starting to happen because of him trying to keep pushing forward rather than allowing things to heal on his own and he i got began to take larger amounts to yield the same result because when you take something for so long you your body becomes i guess desensitized to it it doesn't have the same effect so you know you take one pill and one time but when you do that for so long then eventually you're going to need two to have the same same effect and it really did start to hurt his system and also it made his immune system weaker too because of all this extra stuff in his body that he was trying to, I guess, naturally navigate through. And, you know, so there's unintended consequences of that as well. So then you fast forward to the summer when he's 32. I got, he was in some really intense pain and it feels like 
he was also really aggressively working on a project while he was dealing with that. And it also looks like, and I got it with some mild bacterial infection. I couldn't get the word meningitis, but it had this vibe of meningitis. It was like a bacterial infection that had to do with um, his brain or neurologically, something like that. And he wasn't able to fight it off because of his weakened immune system. So oddly, he didn't get a high fever with what was going on, but he did have swelling in the brain as a result of it. And it looks as though there was some kind of an antibiotic that relieved this condition, but it didn't totally go away. There was still some residual either bacteria or lingering effects of this infection he had. And it looks as though because of that, when it came back, it came back with a vengeance, you know, it kind of subsided, but then it really came back full force the pain and you know he had this like headache pressure and all this other stuff going on that he ended up self-medicating through anti-inflammatories pain medication that kind of thing and inadvertently because of all that and everything else his system had going on the reaction he had was death so it did not seem intentional it just seemed like one of those just um, cascading effects of just a horribly unfortunate situation so, I mean, all in all, it was just a very sad story to just this physically, emotionally, and energetic, amazing being is how he came through to me. His energy was just truly wonderful to be in. Um, so, you know, love light, be with him, his family, all of that. It was just a really sad sequence of events that turned out to be this way. And that was really all I had for this reading. So by all means, please leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say, what you think about this. Maybe you've heard other things. So I'd be curious to compare, compare comments. So again, thank you so much for listening. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Take care.